J. Michael Straczynski Joseph Michael Straczynski is an American television and film screenwriter, producer and director, and comic book writer. He is the founder of Studio JMS, and is best known as the creator of the science fiction television series Babylon 5 and its spin-off Crusade, as well as the series Jeremiah, and Sense 8. Straczynski wrote the psychological drama film Changeling and was co-writer on the martial arts thriller Ninja Assassin, horror film, and apocalyptic horror film World War Z. From 2001 to 2007, Straczynski wrote Marvel Comics' The Amazing Spider-Man, followed by runs on Thor and Fantastic Four. He is also the author of the trilogy of graphic novels, and has written Superman, Wonder Woman, and before Watchmen for DC Comics. Straczynski is the creator and writer of several original comic book series such as Rising Stars, Midnight Nation, Dream Police, and Ten Grand through Joe's Comics. A prolific writer across a variety of media and former journalist, Straczynski is the author of the novels Blood Knight, Other Side, and Tribulations, the short fiction collection Straczynski Unplugged, and the non-fiction book The Complete Book of Script Writing. Straczynski is a longtime participant in Usenet and other early computer networks, interacting with fans through various online forums since 1984. He is credited as being the first TV producer to directly engage with fans on the internet, and allow their viewpoints to influence the look and feel of his show. Two prominent areas where he had a presence were Genie and the news group Babylon 5 moderated. Straczynski was born in Patterson, New Jersey and is the son of Charles Straczynski, a manual laborer, and Evelyn Straczynski. He was raised in Newark, New Jersey, Kankakee, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, Chula Vista, California, where he graduated from high school, and San Diego, California. Straczynski's family religion was Catholic, and he has Polish ancestry. His grandparents lived in the area which today belongs to Belarus, and fled to America from the Russian Revolution. His father was born in the United States, and has lived in Poland, Germany, and Russia. Straczynski is a graduate of San Diego State University, having earned a BA with a double major in psychology and sociology. While at SDSU, he wrote for the student newspaper, The Daily Aztec at times penning so many articles that the paper was jokingly referred to as The Daily Joe. Straczynski met Catherine M. Drennan while they were both at SDSU. They moved to Los Angeles in 1981, married in 1983, separated in 2002, and were divorced in 2008. Sometime after his separation from Drennan, Straczynski entered into a relationship with Patricia Tallman, whom he had met when she was acting in his 1990s series Babylon 5. She served as CEO and executive producer of Studio JMS in partnership with him leaving Studio JMS and Straczynski in 2013. Straczynski began writing plays, having several produced at Southwestern College and San Diego State University before publishing his adaptation of Snow White with Performance Publishing. Several other plays were produced around San Diego, including The Apprenticeship for the Marquis Public Theater. During the late 1970s, Straczynski also became the on-air entertainment reviewer for KSDO-FM and wrote several radio plays before being hired as a scriptwriter for the radio drama Alien Worlds. He also produced his first television project in San Diego, Marty Sprinkle for KPBS-TV as well as worked on the ZTV project Disaster Peace Theater. He worked as a journalist for the Los Angeles Times as a special San Diego correspondent and also worked for San Diego Magazine and the San Diego Reader and wrote for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, the Los Angeles Reader, TV Cable Week, and People Magazine. Straczynski wrote the complete book of scriptwriting for Writer's Digest. Published in 1982, the book is often used as a text in introductory screenwriting courses, and is now in its third edition. He and Catherine M. Drennan, whom he met at San Diego State, moved to Los Angeles on April 1, 1981. They would marry in 1983 and separate in 2002. He spent five years from 1987 to 1992 co-hosting the Hour 25 radio talk show on KPFK-FM Los Angeles with Larry DiTilio. During his tenure, he interviewed such luminaries as John Carpenter, Neil Gaiman, Ray Bradbury, Harlan Ellison and other writers, producers, actors and directors. In 2000, Straczynski returned to radio drama with The City of Dreams for Sci-Fi.com. Straczynski is the author of three horror novels, Demon Knight, Other Side, 
and tribulations and nearly 20 short stories, many of which are collected in two compilations, Tales from the New Twilight Zone and Straczynski Unplugged. Straczynski was a fan of the cartoon He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. He wrote a spec script in 1984 and sent it directly to Filmation. They purchased his script, bought several others, and hired him on staff. During this time he became friends with Larry DiTilio, and when Filmation produced the He-Man spin-off, they both worked as story editors on the show. However, when Filmation refused to give them credit on screen, both left, finding work with Dick on Jace and the Wheeled Warriors. Straczynski and Detilio also worked to create an animated version of ElfQuest, but that project fell through when CBS attempted to retool the show to appeal to younger audiences. While working on Jace, Straczynski was hired to come aboard the Lench Anson and Chuck Mendel project to adapt the movie Ghostbusters to an animated version called The Real Ghostbusters. When Jansen and Menville learned that there was not only a 13-episode order but a 65-episode syndication order as well, they decided that the workload was too much and that they would only work on their own scripts. Dick had Gene Shalop and asked Straczynski to take one task of story editing the entire 78-episode block as well as writing his own scripts. After the show's successful first season, consultants were brought in to make suggestions for the show, including changing Janine to a more maternal character, giving every character a particular job, and to add kids into the show. Straczynski left at this point, Jansen and Menville resuming the story editing job for the second network season. Straczynski then began development on a show called Spiral Zone but left after only one script, taking his name off the series, because management drastically altered his conception of show. Substituting the pseudonym Feth Scray. Straczynski also wrote for CBS Story Break, writing an adaptation of Evelyn Sibley Lampman's The Shy Stegosaurus of Cricket Creek. After leaving animation, Straczynski freelanced for The Twilight Zone writing an episode entitled, and for Shelley Duvall's Nightmare Classics, adaptating The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, which was nominated for a Writer's Guild Award. Straczynski was then offered the position of story editor on the syndicated live-action science fiction series Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Straczynski constructed a season-long arc with lasting character changes and wrote a third of the scripts himself. After one season, the toy company Mattel demanded more input into the show, causing Straczynski to quit. He recommended Detilio to take over the job as story editor for a second season, but the toy company financing fell through and that season was never produced. Soon after, the 1988 Writers Guild of America strike began. Straczynski met Harlan Ellison during this time and would later become friends with him. After the strike ended, the producers of the new Twilight Zone needed to create more episodes to be able to sell the series into syndication with a complete 65-episode package. They hired Straczynski as executive story editor to fill in the remaining number of needed episodes. Straczynski wrote many of the scripts himself. In addition, one episode, Crazy as a Soup Sandwich, was written by Allison. After leaving Twilight Zone, his agent of the time asked him to pitch for the show Jake and the Fat Man. Initially wary, Straczynski finally did and was hired in as story editor under Jerry Taylor and David Messenger. When Taylor and Messenger left the show, Straczynski left too as an act of solidarity. When Messenger was hired as executive producer for Murder, she wrote, he offered Straczynski a job as co-producer. Straczynski joined Murder for two seasons and wrote seven produced episodes. Messenger and Straczynski moved the protagonist, Jessica Fletcher, from the sleepy main town of Cabot Cove to New York City to revitalize the show. The move effectively brought the show back into the top ten from the mid-thirties where it had fallen. Straczynski made Jessica an instructor in writing and criminology, and he emphasized her role as a working writer, with all the deadlines and problems involved in that profession. Straczynski also wrote one episode of Walker, Texas Ranger for Messenger between the pilot episode for Babylon 5 and the start of its first season. Straczynski wrote an adaptation of Robert Louis Stevenson's The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for the Showtime Network, which was nominated for a Writers Guild of America Award, and a murder, she wrote movie, which he produced. In late 1991, Warner Brothers contracted with Straczynski and Doug Netter as partners to produce Babylon 5 as the flagship program for the new primetime entertainment network. Straczynski and Netter hired many of the people from Captain Power, as well as hiring Allison as a consultant and Detilio as a story editor. Babylon 5 won two Emmy Awards, back-to-back -back Hugo Awards, and dozens of other awards. 
Straczynski wrote 92 of the 110 episodes, as well as the pilot and five television movies. The show is a character-driven space opera and features an intentional emphasis on realism in its portrayal of space operations. It also pioneered extensive use of CGI for its special effects. Babylon 5 was produced and broadcast for five seasons completing Strasine's Kiss Plan story arc. Its sequel, Crusade, was produced for the TNT network, however it ended with only 13 episodes. Production was halted before the first episode aired. He wrote the outlines for nine of the canonical Babylon 5 novels, supervised the three produced B5 telefilm novelizations, and is the author of four Babylon 5 short stories published in magazines, not yet reprinted. In 2005, Straczynski began publishing his Babylon 5 scripts. This process ended in June 2008, with the scripts no longer being available from the end of July of that year. His scripts for the television movies were published for a limited time in January 2009. Straczynski also wrote and produced the pilot, a pilot for the Sci-Fi Network, and wrote, directed and produced as a two-hour to direct a DVD movie. Straczynski has long been a comic fan, and began writing comics in the late 1980s. His work in comics includes the adaptations of Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, The Twilight Zone, Star Trek and Babylon 5. In 1999 he created Rising Stars for Top Cow slash Image Comics. Eventually he worked mostly under his own imprint, Joe's Comics, for which he wrote the Midnight Nation miniseries, and the illustrated fantasy parable Delicate Creatures. Marvel Comics then signed him to an exclusive contract, beginning with a run on The Amazing Spider-Man, from 2001 to 2007. He took over the series with issue number 30. Straczynski and artist John Romita Jr. crafted an acclaimed story for The Amazing Spider-Man No. 36 in response to the September 11th attacks. He wrote or co-wrote several major Spider-Man story arcs including, and. He later wrote several other Marvel titles including Supreme Power, Strange, Fantastic Four, Thor, and miniseries featuring the Silver Surfer on the What If Scenario, Bullet Points. Straczynski also ran Jeremiah loosely based on the Belgian post-apocalyptic comic of the same name, from 2002 to 2004. Straczynski ran the series for two seasons but was frustrated with the conflicting directions that MGM and Showtime wanted from the show, and even used the pseudonym Fetz Grey for the first time since Spiral Zone on one of the scripts. In the second season, Straczynski decided to leave the show if things did not improve, and the show ended after two seasons. Straczynski wrote Changeling, a psychological drama film based partly on the Wineville Chicken Coop kidnapping and murder case in Los Angeles, California. Directed by Clint Eastwood, produced by Ron Howard, and starring Angelina Jolie, the film premiered in 2008, and subsequently received eight nominations for the BAFTA Award, including a nomination for Best Original Screenplay. The first draft script was written in 11 days, after Straczynski figured out how to tell the story which ended up being the shooting draft, after Eastwood declined to make any changes. It was optioned immediately by Howard, who at first intended to direct the film but later stepped down after scheduling conflicts. At first, Straczynski expressed disbelief at the story, but spent a year researching the case, compiling over 6,000 pages of documentation. Straczynski claimed that 95% of the script's content came from the historical record, and went through the script with Universal's legal department providing attribution for every scene so the film would be described as a true story rather than based on one. On how his journalistic background helped had him write the film, Straczynski stated. Straczynski announced on February 23, 2007 that he had been hired to write the feature film adaptation of Max Brooks's New York Times best-selling novel World War Z for Paramount Pictures and Brad Pitt's production company, Plan B, taking screen story credit on the finished film. In 2008, Straczynski wrote a draft of Ninja Assassin for Joel Silver, which he completed in just 53 hours. The film was produced by the Wachowskis and released on November 25, 2009. Straczynski is credited as story writer along with Mark Protosevich for the 2011 film, Thor. He also makes a cameo appearance in the film, his first appearance in a movie and his second appearance as an actor. In March 2017, Legendary Entertainment announced that Straczynski, amongst other writers, had joined their writer's room to develop the story for Godzilla vs. Kong.
When his exclusive contract with Marvel ended, he was announced as the writer for a run on The Brave and the Bold for DC Comics. He collaborated with artist Shane Davis on an out of continuity original graphic novel starring Superman titled The story features a young Superman and focus on his decision about the role he wants to assume in life. On March 8, 2010, it was announced he would be taking over writing duties for the monthly Superman title with a story arc entitled And the Wonder Woman title beginning with issues 701 and 601 respectively. Less than a year later he was asked by Dicto step away from both titles in order to concentrate on the second volume of Superman, Earth-1 and handed them over to Chris Robertson and Phil Hester to finish his Superman and Wonder Women stories respectively. In 2012, Straczynski wrote Before Watchmen, Dr. Manhattan drawn by Adam Hughes and Before Watchmen, Night Owl drawn by Andy Kubert and Joe Kubert. A second volume of Superman, Earth-1 was released later that same year. At the San Diego Comic-Con in 2015, DC Comics announced The Flash, Earth-1, a new graphic novel of its Earth-1 line to be written by Straczynski, set to be published in 2016. The Joe's Comics line was revived at Image Comics in 2013 with the launch of Ten Grand drawn by Ben Templesmith and Sidekick drawn by Tom Mandrake. Dynamite Entertainment announced in July 2013 a new 12-issue The Twilight Zone comic book series penned by Straczynski. The series ran for its projected 12 issues, from December 2013 to February 2015, with art by Gaiu Villanova. Straczynski was announced as the writer of, a 12-issue comic book series from Dark Horse Comics, along with artist Pete Woods. Since 8 a new science fiction television series created by Straczynski and the Wachowskis was ordered straight to series by Netflix in March 2013. Sense8's first season debuted in June 2015 on Netflix, from Studio JMS and Georgeville Television. Straczynski executive produced and co-wrote all 12 episodes off the first season with fellow creators, executive producers, and directors Lillian Lana Wachowski. In August 2015, Netflix renewed Sense8 for a second season. In 2004, Straczynski was approached by Paramount Studios to become a producer of the series. He declined, believing that he would not be allowed to take his show in the direction he felt it should go. He did write a treatment for a new Star Trek series with colleague Bryce Sable. After both Babylon 5 and Jeremiah ended, Straczynski transitioned to working as a feature film screenwriter. In 2006, he was hired to write a feature film based on the story of King David for Universal by producers Erwin Stoff and Akiva Goldsman. In June 2007, it was announced that Straczynski had written a feature screenplay for the Silver Surfer movie for Fox, the production of which would depend on the success of the. Additionally, he has written a script for Tom Hanks' play Don't Productions and Universal Pictures called They Marched into Sunlight based upon the Pulitzer-nominated novel of the same name in an outline by Paul Greengrass, for Greengrass to direct should it get a green light. In June 2008, Daily Variety named Straczynski one of the top 10 screenwriters to watch. They announced Straczynski was writing Lensman for Ron Howard, that he was selling another spec, Proving Ground, to Tom Cruise and United Artists. In October 2008, it was announced that Straczynski was engaged to pen a remake of the science fiction classic Forbidden Planet. In the fall of 2009, it was reported that Straczynski was writing a movie titled Shattered Union for Jerry Bruckheimer and Disney. The screenplay, based on the video game of that name, concerns itself with a present day American Civil War. In October 2012, Valiant Entertainment announced a live action feature film adaptation on its comic book series Shadow Man, written and executive produced by Straczynski. The Flickering Light, Straczynski's directorial debut, was announced in February 2013 with the World War II drama set to be written and produced by Straczynski through his studio JMS. Straczynski and studio JMS optioned Harlan Ellison's short story Repent, Harlequin. Said the TikTok man, who granted the option only after reading a finished screenplay written by Straczynski. On San Diego Comic Con 2014, it was announced that Straczynski and Graphic India would team up with Churn and Entertainment to produce a feature film adaptation of his upcoming graphic novel Titans, to be written and produced by Straczynski, through Studio JMS. Straczynski was also hired to adapt Red Mars for Spike TV, based on the Kim Stanley Robinson novels, with Vince Gerard as his producer. In December 2015, Spike TV gave a 10 episode straight to series order to Red Mars, set to premiere in January 2017 with Straczynski serving as writer, executive producer, 
and showrunner through Studio JMS, and production set to begin in summer 2016. On March 25, 2016 Deadline reported that Straczynski had left his position as showrunner with Peter Noah replacing him but he too left due to creative differences with Spike. Spike has put the series on hold for further development. In July 2012, J. Michael Straczynski announced the launch of Studio JMS to produce TV series, movies, comics and, down the road, games and web series. On March 27, 2013 Netflix announced they would produce the show Sense8 with Studio JMS and The Watchhouse Keys, which aired on June 5, 2015, and earned a Season 2 announcement by August 10, 2015. An asteroid, discovered in 1992 at the Kitt Peak National Observatory, was honorarily named 8379 Straczynski. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.